Welcome to our section, how to find the range, the variance, and the standard deviation of the sample. Let's start. First of all, what is the range, the variance, and the standard deviation? These are just measurements of dispersion. They just tell me how spread out is my data. Let's see an example. Let's say that you have this data, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. See here that everyone is the same, so there's actually no dispersion. But what happens if I have something like this? 3, 10, 11, 17, 19, 10,000. Well, in this case, I can see that my data is not the same, and there is actually dispersion. So how do I measure that? Well, we're going to measure it by learning the range, the standard deviation, and the variance. Let's start with the range. Let's say they ask you to find the range of the following data. Well, the range is very simple. It's just the largest values minus the smallest values. For example, if I have something like this, which one will be the largest value? In this case, I have 5, and the smallest one is going to be 1. So my range is going to be 5 minus 1, which is equal to 4. Beautiful. It's very simple. Let's do now the variance. The variance has this nasty formula, which is equal to the sum of x, which in this case x is going to be 1, 5, 4, and 2, minus the mean. x bar means the mean, or the average, all that to the square, divided by how many items I have, in this case 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1. Let's do it step by step. The first thing, let's find the mean. I go 1 plus 5 plus 4 plus 2 divided by 4 because I have 4 items. 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's do it. 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 plus 2 is 12. 12 divided by 4 is equals to 3. Beautiful. Second step. Once you, got, once you have your mean, which is actually 3, you're going to go ahead and do every single x value minus the mean and then you're going to square it. For example, 1 minus 3 is equals to negative 2. But when you square negative 2, what do you get? You get equals to 4. Plus 5 minus 3 is also negative 2. But negative 2 times negative 2 is also equals to 4. 4 minus 3 is equals to 1. 1 times 1 is 1. I'm almost done. And then 2 minus 3 is equals to negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is just 1. Finally, I just add 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9, plus 1 is 10. Beautiful. Now that you have this, we're going almost to the last step. I divide all that, which all this rep is represented here, divided by n, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 1. I get that my variance is equals to 10 divided by 3, which I get this really nasty number, 3.33333 to the n. Now, let's do the standard deviation. It is the same thing as the variance. Look, it's almost the same formula. However, I need to square root whatever answer I get. Do you remember how we go 3.3333? Well, in order to find the standard deviation, I just need to do the square root of the value, which is equals to 1.83. Let's do another one. Again, find the range of this data. Remember, the largest one minus the smallest one. 9 minus 0 is equals to 9. So easy. Now let's do the variance. Again, first step. Find the mean. I go 3 plus 7 plus 9 plus 1 is equals to what? 3 plus 7 is 10. 10 plus 9 is 19. 19 plus 1 is 20. 20 divided by 4 is equals to 5. I got my x bar. Now we're going to subtract every single value minus the mean and we're going to square it. Let's do it. 3 minus 5 squared is equals to negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. Plus 7 minus 5 is 2. 2 times 2, again, is 4. 
9 minus 5 is equals to 4. 4, plus four, uh, 4 times 4 is equals to 16. Almost done. 1 minus 5 is negative 4, but negative 4 times negative 4 is also 16. When I add 16 plus 16 plus 4 plus 4, that's equals to 40. And the last step, count how many items you have. 1, 2, 3, 4. I do 40 divided by 4 minus 1, which is equals to 13.3333. Finally, once you have your variance, in order to figure out your standard deviation, remember, you do the same thing. Do the whole thing. Once you get this value, just find the square root, which is equals to 3.65. I'm going to recap. If you have the variance, the square root of the variance is the standard deviation. If I actually have the standard deviation and I want the variance, the only thing you have to do is plug this value in your calculator, do the square of that value, and you get this baby, 13.3333. Uh, there are pain in the neck to calculate. This is why sometimes we do the standard deviation and the variance in the calculator. So please go ahead and watch our videos, how to figure it out, the standard deviation, the variance, and every single thing in the calculator in our channel. Again, Thank you so much for learning and I hope to see you next time.